number one, Sorrel Ravenspeaker, Emo Dreamboat Extraordinaire, Plays Guitar, Says Stuff. Filthy Liar number two, Jamie Gangel, Behind the Scenes Frontman, Moody Broody Duty, Arms of Fury, Jamie Gangel. Filthy Liar number three, Chelsea, kinda like if a potato wore a gizm shirt and fucking rocked the base about here. <laughs> Filthy Liar number one, this is a two-part question. Part one, where does the name The Filthy Liars come from? Part two, are you upset that I'm referring to you as The Filthy Liars and not Filthy Liars? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that. It's Filthy Liars. I feel like it came out just like a super spiteful conversation when we were living in Halifax. It was definitely in retaliation for getting called a liar. It kind of just stuck and it's changed and morphed since then, but that's, that's the original story. I don't know if that applies so much now, but uh, it was definitely a spiteful retaliation name. Filthy Liar number one, two, and three. Which is your favorite piece of graffiti in this vicinity? It's cock the clock. The cock one. Anything with cock in it. It's cock o'clock. It's cock o'clock. Filthy Liar number one. I've noticed that you've gone through a few different hairstyle changes. Which is your favorite then? I've been working on my hair for a long time and um, it's very important to me. It's not nearly at its glory yet. Um, I'm bringing back the emo swoop. I'm not swooping right now, which is unfortunate because I'm working on the swoop. But I've got to say that like, I don't know, I'm all about the swoop. Our interviewer has a very good swoop. It's a good example. But yeah, check out that swoop. That's a fucking swoop. Look at it. Soak it in, the swoop. Where does where does the inspiration for your for the the musical songs that you write come from? Is it from personal life experiences, or is it from other things that you like and dislike? I guess it's primarily life experience. Like usually, I write a song in one shot, either after an event or uh, like a mood, uh, and then there are a few songs where I get a little existential. Conceptually, I have been the main songwriter for uh, what's been included on our acoustic demo and our electric album, um, but Sorrel has contributed greatly to uh, lyricism and uh, instrumental parts, and also Filthy Liars just wouldn't have happened if Sorrel didn't drag me by my hair to <laughs> like tell people or to show people songs that I've been <laughs> writing. Like I've been writing music since I was 15, but. Uh, I wasn't afraid to sing in front of people if it wasn't my own shit, but I was afraid to sing if it was my own shit and if people were listening. So I'd be one of those kids who would like pick up a guitar and if I was pretty sure that no one was paying attention, I would sing and then people would be like, hey, that sounds really good. And I'd be like, oh my God, no, go away. Filthy liar number three, if up here is one and down here is 10, where do you like to play bass? 420. Yeah, I, I actually, I really like, I mean like ideally when I was learning how to play the bass parts, I was just kind of like sitting down and the bass was almost like flat on my lap so I could see the fretboards and now I can't really do that when I'm standing up so feels, feels blind. Filthy Liar number one, I've heard that your musical experiences have started out on stringed instruments played with a bow in somewhat of a classical style. How is it different, do you find, going from a bow to strumming? Yeah, I, I've been playing fiddle for a really long time and uh, kind of started, that's kind of like all the music I've done has been like fiddle in folk punk life for the past like two years or whatever. So. Um, it was really cool to get to write all the bass parts and get to like add that. It reminded me of playing fiddle and adding fiddle. Um, so yeah, it's been good transition and playing guitar has been hard, the chords, but I feel really stoked about it. Kind of fulfilling a little life dream playing some guitar right now. So I'm stoked. So good. Filthy Liar number two. I've heard 
that you have written most of the guitar parts for the band. Do you prefer going down, down, up, up, down, up, or going down, pause, up, up, down, up? I do neither. <laughs> I go like one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, uh, really often uh, when I'm playing, I think, both acoustic and electric guitar. This is a question for Filthy Liar number one, two, and three. If you were a pizza topping, which pizza topping would you be? If I was a pizza topping, I would be olives. I don't really know why, but I relate to the word brine. I liked that word. I don't know why. I think I'm artichoked. Artichoke? Artichoke. Yeah. Because everyone, <laughs> I'm artichoke. I'm really hit and miss. <laughs> I think I'm potato, because it's weird. <laughs> but it's also so good. But if you do it right, it can be fun. You actually are the potato of the Filthy Liars pizza. <laughs> You're like, I'm the potato. Yeah. I think I'm also Parmesan cheese because I smell really bad. But <laughs> I was going to say onions. Filthy Liar number one, what is your least favorite thing about Canada's DIY punk community? Most people are trying to be solid, but when people just aren't solid when they have to be, and like the repercussions of that and the, the damages of that of people not making the right decisions and not supporting people um that's like kind of the worst filthy liar number three you seem pretty tuckered out bud on a scale of one to six million how tuckered out are you um 420. <laughs> filthy liar number three are you upset that I haven't asked you any real questions about your position in the musical group The Filthy Liars? No, I'm, I'm relieved. I appreciate that. Filthy Liar number two. If Peter Mansbridge is number one and Nardwar the Human Serviette is number ten, what kind of interviewer would you say I am? On a scale from Peter Mansbridge to Nardwar, you're a Rick the Tenth. <laughs> Does Peter Mansbridge have an, an outing? Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>